Now we're hearing tonight from the family of a man who police say shot numerous people, killing one of them, as you heard, leaving others seriously hurt. Deputies have confirmed Shannon Smith was the suspect who was killed from gunshot injuries. His family tells 7 News' Melanie Palmer what they think happened. A boarded up house riddled with bullet holes. That's what's left of the home where everything unfolded Thursday afternoon. And now we're learning more about the man deputies say sparked it all. An officer, we had an officer shot. We had an officer shot. An evening filled with sounds of gunfire <laughs> turned into echoes of a circular saw and hammer. It threw me away when they said it. I said, wow. You know what? I, I just said something had to, um, hey, he had to snap. Marilyn Murphy is picking up photos left behind in the house at the center of it all. The man police say started it, Shannon Smith, was her nephew. He wasn't young, Neil Eel. Seemed like when he got older, it came on him. She tells us Smith lived in the house with his mom, adding they were close. His mind just went there. She says so many different scenarios are going through her mind. All I can think of is that he thinking. They out here cutting off his water and, and uh, cable and stuff. That's all, you know, and he want to know what they, out here, what they out here for. Same goes for his cousin, Tarika Murphy, who believes. Come out with your hands up. If you are injured in any way, you can call us. Call 911. The entire situation could have been handled differently. When it comes to mentally unstable people, you have to start handling it another way than killing them because you're going to kill a lot of people. Spartanburg County Sheriff Chuck Wright says they did everything they could to end things peacefully. We don't hate him. We just hate what he did. Our team did perfect. And many on his team are still dealing with the aftermath of the day. They're hurting because they had to take a human life. Sheriff Wright says same goes for the victim's families, who Murphy tells us are in her prayers. My heart go out for the victims, you know, the people that got shot, because truly they was a working, they weren't looking for this. Smith's family tells me his mother was also hurt in all of this. At last check, she was still in the hospital, and they didn't know her condition. In Spartanburg, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. Smith's family tells us he did not have a violent history. Sheriff Wright told us he had a burglary charge, that he had been convicted of selling drugs, but didn't think that should have led him to do what they say he did. The sheriff says he simply doesn't understand it.